Hello, hello everyone. How are you? Good evening. Fine, good evening. Excellent. How are you, Cecilia? Fine, thank you. And you? I'm great. Thank you so much for asking. Okay. <laughs> what about, let me check, Cecilia Rodriguez, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. It's great. Excellent. Very good. Me gusta ese, I'm great. Oh, it's great. <laughs> Very good. Let me check uh, Raquel Santos. Hello, Raquel. How are you? Hello. I'm fine. Excellent. Very good to hear you, Raquel. Welcome back to your English class. Everybody, it's a pleasure to see you. We're, we have so much content for today's class, all right? Most of it, practice. La mayoría de él es mucha práctica, all right? Del contenido que ya hemos visto, vamos a tener bastante práctica ahora. Uno de los contenidos que ya vimos el día de ayer fue jobs, right? El vocabulary related to jobs, el vocabulario relacionado a los trabajos o profesiones. Vamos a practicar algo nuevo porque vamos a hacer unas sentences, vamos a hacer unas oraciones. Y tenemos que ir full con esto, right? Ya para no ir dudando mucho de cómo utilizarlo. So let's get started. Do you remember? ¿Se recuerdan? Everyone, let me check. Mention at least three jobs that you learned last class. All right. Let me see. Tres trabajos de los que ustedes se recuerden que aprendimos la última clase. ¿Alguna voluntaria? Do I have a volunteer? Yo. Excelente. Yo. <laughs> Aira. Excellent. Tell me. Policeman. Police officer. Pilo. Police officer. Pilo, nurse. Nurse, excellent, very good. You are on fire. <laughs> Let me check, do I have another one? Tengo alguien más? Yo, teacher. Excellent, tell me. Singer, nurse, cashier. Bravo, excellent, a very good pronunciation. Let me go with Cecilia Romero. Por ahí vi que usted quería también participar. Ok. Eh, doctor, nurse, teacher. Eh, no me recuerdo cuál es la otra mía. <ríe> Excelente, muy bien. Tengo unos nuevos. Ajá, tell me. Auditor, tell. mechanic, sales woman. Sí. Esa estuve, ahorita la acabo de estar viendo acá. Mm -hmm. Solamente. Excelente. Very good, Cecilia. Okay. Very good. Proud of you. Está muy bien que ustedes busquen aparte extra vocabulary relacionado a esto, right? Porque si bien aquí les dan bastante vocabulary, cosa que no suele suceder en otras cosas, all right? Pero aquí sí les dan bastante vocabulary, es muy bueno que ustedes también busquen, así como en el caso de Cecilia. Excellent. Very good. Let me check, everybody. Let's move on. Como no todas participaron para decirme el vocabulary, sea de las que recordaban, ahora les voy a pedir a ustedes que lo hagan, que me lo digan. Ahí lo tienen, all right? You don't need to remember, ni siquiera tenemos que recordar, ya lo tienen aquí. So let's start with Carla Abrigo, please. Good evening, Carlita. Good evening. How are you? Um, fine, fine. Thanks, very good. Action. Okay, jobs, vocabulary, vocabulary, and activities. No veo bien. Okay, cashier, cook, chef, doctor, fly, attendant. Um, me ayuda ahí. Uh, fly, attendant. Attendant. Okay, jewel, lawyer, jewel. Yes. Uh huh. Judge. Okay. Ah, judge. Okay. Lawyer. Music. Nurse. Pilot. Police officer. Receptionist. Sales person. Security guard. Singer. Waiter. Waitress. Excellent. Thank you, girl. Carla, Carla, repeat after me. Musician. Music. De nuevo, por favor. Musician. Music. Mi, ay, me atoré. 
<laughs> musician. Musician. Ajá, excelente. Ah, ok, musician. Ok, gracias, gracias. Esta otra amiga, por favor. Sandless person. Sandless person. Look at eh, the same. person. Alright, okay. so let's uh, sales. Sales. Oh, okay. Sales person. Okay, mm -hmm. gracias. Very good. Thank you for patience. Let me go with Mayrene Fuentes, please. Uh case Kaiser Cook uh, or Chef Doctor Flight Tender. Jogen. Judge. Like. What? Judge. Judge. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, liar. Liar. Lawyer. 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 Excellent. Very good. Lawyer. Sorry. Music. Nurse. Pilot. Police. Office, um, receptionist, uh, what is the meaning of receptionist? Yes. Receptionist. Receptionist. <clears throat> Thank you. <coughs> Sales person, security, uh, guardian, guard. guard. What? Security guard. Security guard. It's okay. Singer. Water and waiters. All right, repeat after me. Waiter. Waiter. Uh -huh, excellent. Very good, Mayrene. Thank okay. you. All right, guys. Let me check. I'm going to ask somebody else, all right? Let's see. Um, Marvin Soriano, please give me the vocabulary. Okay. Uh, cashier, cook, or chef. Doctor, fly up net, attendant, judge, lawyer, museum, nurse, pilot, police officer, receptionist, solid person, security guard, singer, waiter, waiter. Excellent. Thank you, Marvin. Repeat after me. Musician. Musician. Uh -huh, exactly. Musician es un músico, right? Y ya decir música sería music, pero aquí es musician. Musician, ok. Ajá. okay. Y esta, salesperson. Salesperson. Excelente, la E no suena, right? Salesperson. Ok, salesperson. Thank, mm -hmm. Thank you, Marvin. Very good. Let me go with somebody else. Let's see. Raquel Santos, please. Cashier. Cook or chef, doctor, flight attendant, judge, lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, receptionist, salesperson, security guard, singer, wait, waiter, or waitress. Excellent. Thank you, Raquel. Very good. No corrections. Let me see. Let's go with a man now. Alexis Hurtado, please. Yes, miss. Uh, cashier, cook, chef, doctor, flight attendant, Jupiter, Ledger, museums, news, pilot, policy office, receptionist, salesperson, Security guard, singer, waiter, waiters. That's correct, sir. Thank you. Alexis, repeat after me. Musician. Musicians. Uh -huh. That's correct. Excellent, sir. Let me go with Beatriz Campos, please. Cashier, could shed a doctor. Play attention, uh, shoes, lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot, police, office, receptionist, 
salesperson, security girl, singer, waiter, wasters. Excellent. Thank you, girl. Thank Very you. good. Beatriz, just repeat after me. Fly attendant. Fly attendant. Uh -huh, exactly. Fly attendant. All right. Let me go with Nestor Amilcar, please. Give me the vocabulary. Hi, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Uh, catcher, cook, chef, doctor, flight attendant, jazz, lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, receptionist, salesperson, security guard, singer, waiter, waitress. Excellent, sir. Very good. So much better than yesterday. Let me check. Thank you. Only repeat after me, Amilcar. Salesperson. Salesperson. Excellent. Very good. Salesperson. You guys, excellent. I'm feel proud. I haven't noticed any mistake. Hasta ahorita no he notado ningún error en la pronunciation. Fuera de lo normal que de tener tanto, pues siempre nos vamos a confundir en uno, right? Esto es normal. So do not worry. No se preocupen. Pero sí me gusta ver que se han, o han estado practicando o se recuerdan de lo que vimos ayer. But it's excellent. I, I feel proud of you. Now, let me go with one more person and then I will move on. Let me go with Kenia Sánchez, please. Hello, Kenia, are you there? Okay, I don't have Kenya. Let me go with somebody else. Please. Flor de Maria, please. Cashier, cook, chef, doctor, lawyer, tender, chooser, lawyer, musician, nurse, fellow, police. Officer, reception, size person, security guard, singer, writer, writers. Excellent. Thank you, Flor. Repeat after me. Musician. Musician. Uh -huh. Musician. <laughs> Very good, guys. Listen up. Quizás, eh, I don't know, all right? Thank you, Flor de Maria. That was good, all right? Eso fue excelente. Quizás podemos pensar, mis, algunas de esas nunca me van a salir, all right? Si sí, salen, all right? Believe me, de tanto que lo practica, salen. Y lo van a encontrar, la perfection in this vocabulary, all right? Porque solo es de escucharlo, practicarlo, escucharlo, practicarlo, all right? No solo escucharlo y escuchar, practicarlo, all right? That's my advice for you. No se olviden de practicar este vocabulary. Ese es el único consejo que les puedo dar. Ya lo conocen, solamente es de practicar. Let's go with the next one. Places and activities, all right? Esta ya es otra franja siempre relacionado a los jobs. Aquí voy a pedir la participation de alguien más. Let me start with Juan José Pineda. Please give me the vocabulary of places and activities. Me regala el vocabulario de los lugares y las actividades. Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening. Places in a hospital, in an office, in a store, in a hotel. Activities. Wear a uniform. Wear a uniform. Sit all day. Talk to people. Work hard. Stand all day. Handle money. Work at night. Writer's tickets. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Very good. Let's go with Cecilia Romero, please. And after Cecilia Romero, Cecilia Rodríguez. Okay. Place. In a hospital. In an office. In a store. In a hotel. 
activities, wears a uniform, sits all day, talks to people, works hard, stay all day, handies money, works at, at night, write tickets. Excellent, bravo, thank you, Celia. That was great, that was glamorous. Let's go with Miss Rodriguez, action. Place in a hospital, in a office, in a store, in a hotel, activities, wears a uniform, sit all day, talks to people, works hard, stand all day, hand his money, work at night, write tickets. Excellent. Thank you, girl. Very good job. No mistakes. No tengo ninguna correction. All right. Let's go with Kimberly, Kimberly Elena, please. Place in a hospital, in an office, in a store, in a hotel, activity, wears a uniform, sits all day, talks to people, works hard, stands all day, handles money, works at night, writes tickets. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you, Elena. Bravo. No mistakes. I don't have complaints, all right? Let's go with Yesenia Vasquez, please. Place in a hospital, in an office, in a store, in a hotel, activities, where is an effort, sit all day, talks to people, works hard, stand all day, handles money, work, works at night, write tickets. That's correct, Yesenia. Thank you. Very good. That was wonderful. Let's go with Alexis Valmore. Peris, please. In a hospital, in an office, in a store, in a hotel, activities, wears a uniform, sits all day, takes the people, works hard, stays all day, has the money, works at night, writes tickets. Excellent, very good, that's correct. Hey, Valmore, just one question. Talks to people or takes people? Takes people. Are you sure? Porque takes people is tomar personas. Oh, okay, talks people. Aquí sería talks. Touch. Talks to people. Touch to people. All right, tops. Excellent. Thank you. Excellent, everybody. Now you, there you have it. Uh, most of you practice in these activities. I'm only missing uh, Rene Portillo, please. Please. Uh, please. In a hospital, in an office, in a store, in a hotel. Activities. Wear a uniform. Sits all day. Tolls, uh, pardon, uh, tolls to people work hard, stand all day, a whole day, hard this morning, works at night, writes tickets. That's correct, sir. Thank you. Now, everybody, le doy una pasadita aquí a este vocabulary rapidito, solo algunas que creo que nos pueden costar. ¿Por qué? Porque ya vamos a practicar el hacer sentences con esto. Y para que todos nos puedan entender, tenemos que saber cómo pronunciarlo bien. Here we go. Talks to people. Talks to people. Stands all day. Stands all day. Todos estos verbs, todos estos verbos están en third person singular. Están en tercera persona singular. Por eso es que ustedes ven el, la S. All right? Works hard. Stands all day. Handles. Handles money, handles money, all right? Esos son los únicos que creo que pueden costar. Let's go with the guiding examples. Let me check. Um, 
Alexis Hurtado, please. Example number one, Marvin, example number two. Chef works in a restaurant. Place, thank you. A chef wears a uniform. Activity, excellent, thank you, right? Notice, en algunas podemos poner el lugar, que sería place, y en otras podemos poner la activity, all right? Aún utilizando la misma profession o el mismo labor o el mismo eh, job. All right. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer, everybody? Let's pay attention. Let's practice. Kimberly, please, tell me the instructions. Me dice las instrucciones. Word, uh, words, individuality. To create at least three sentences using the vocabulary present. Three, then share your sentences with the class. That's correct, my friend. Thank you, right? Create three sentences using the vocabulary. Van a crear tres oraciones utilizando todo ese vocabulario. O sea, no es que todo en una sola sentence, sino que ustedes escogen lo que quieren utilizar. All right? So, les voy a dejar estos por aquí, por si desean tomar ideas de ellos. All right? Three sentences. Teacher, una consulta. Yes. Con respecto a la activity, acá me dice que viste de uniforme, el chef viste de uniforme. Uh -huh. Pero no es necesario que las oraciones diga yo cómo visten, sino que cómo es la actividad que hacen. Yes, sí, aquí como wears a uniform es una activity, entonces por eso la tomé yo como ejemplo. Right? Pero no, se puede escoger de las otras. Eh, por ejemplo, un chef nunca se sienta. Eso significa ah, que... Yeah. Ah, okay. ok. Yeah, ok. Thank you. You're uh -huh. welcome.
Have you finished, Mayra? Yeah. Okay, we're going to wait um, like two more minutes. Vamos a esperar dos minutos más y comenzamos a compartir. All right? Okay. Para que no les dé copia. <laughs> Okay, everybody, let me tell you something, all right? Para que no haya una confusion, voy a hacer esta aclaración. Eh, no sé si ustedes ya se han fijado, pero en esta sentence tenemos an uniform, right? Tenemos el artículo indefinido an. Y aquí, en el vocabulary, tenemos where's a uniform, all right? ¿Qué sucede? Listen up. Si ustedes vean los artículos, si tuvieron la oportunidad de estar en el nivel 1, right? Porque no sé si todos vienen exactamente siempre el nivel 1 aquí. Vieron los artículos, los artículos indefinidos y definidos. Y allí entra el an y el a. All right. ¿Qué sucede con esto? Las reglas gramaticales o el spelling nos dicen de que cuando tenemos un noun o una palabra que inicia con una vocal, que sería vowel, all right? que sería vowel, una vocal, tenemos que ponerle an. Por eso sí que si ustedes se fijan aquí, an office, right? porque office inicia con una o, que es una vocal. Y dice que si la palabra o el noun no inicia con una vocal, sino que con una consonant, right? una consonante, es decir, otra letra del abecedario que no sea vocal, como en este caso hospital, ponemos A. Pero ¿qué sucede aquí? Esta es una de las excepciones que van a encontrar en todo su proceso de aprendizaje. right? Siempre van a encontrar algunas exceptions, excepciones. En este caso, uniform. Suena como si tuviéramos una Y, una consonante, right? Uniform. Por eso es que se da aquí esa exception. También el sonido influye más que el propio spelling, que la propia escritura, right? O la división de las letras. Quiero aclarar eso por si le surge la pregunta, porque aquí dice a uniform y aquí a uniform. Lo correcto, si nos guiamos por la regla gramatical, es a uniform, right? Pero como suena... Como si tuviera Y, tenemos que dejar a uniform. All right? Espero me diga a entender y eso no lo vaya a confundir. Esa es la única excepción que encontramos aquí. Do you have a question, Kimberly? No, finish. Oh, you finished. Excellent. Very good. Okay, ya podemos iniciar. Let's just start with Mayra. Porque Mayra eh, fue la primerita. Let me look for my pen, Mayra. Solo déjeme encontrar mi lapicera. Uh -huh. Ay, no, ya lo perdí. Okay, action, Mayra. A singer, a uh, musician, works at night. A uh, pilot works, a um, uniform. Um, lawyers talk to the people. All right, excellent, very good. A lawyer talks to people. Yes, Mayra, no corrections. Let me go with Kimberly. The salesperson works in the mall. The nurse wears a uniform. The lawyer talks to people. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you, Kimberly. Excellent. No mistakes. Those sentences were good. Están bien esas oraciones, right? Siempre que yo encuentre algo que puede mejorar la oración o que se necesita cambiar, les voy a hacer saber. If not, significa que su sentence está correcta. Do I have another person who already finished? Tengo alguien más que ya finalizó. Excellent, Nestor. Tell me. Hi. Uh, a lawyer wears a tie in the judge. A lawyer reads a lot 
of lab books. That's true. Uh, a cashier stands all day in a hotel. Very good, excellent. Thank you. Very good. Let me go with my Irene, please. A teacher wore a school. A teacher wore a books. A doctor wears in a hospital. A doctor wear a medicine. medicine. A doctor? Medicine. Wear a um, medicine. Wears. Ese verbo puso wears? Oh, this uh, use. Ah, use medicine. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Yes, Mayrene, no corrections. Solamente eso, right? Todo está genial. Thank Let's you. go with Marvin. Solo voy a decir una cosa, all right? Eh, la diferencia entre el, el use y el wear en este caso es que wear se aplica para vestimenta o todo lo que nos pongamos encima, all right? O sea, lentes, eh, headphones, lipstick, lashes, cualquier cosa que se utilice in our bodies, en nuestros cuerpos, all right? Ahí utilizamos wears. Y use ya es otro verb, otro verbo que se utiliza para otro contenido. Let's go with Marty. Ok. Uh, a chef works in the kitchen. A cook, a chef uses a knife. Uh, a, secret, a secretary works in an office. Uh -huh. A secretary uses a computer. A police, the, a police officer works on the street. A police officer uses a gun. <laughs> That's true. Excellent, Marvin. <laughs> Very good. There's no lie over there. No hay ninguna mentira ahí. Let me check. Do I have another volunteer? Otro voluntario que quiera participar? De todas maneras, siempre lo voy a escoger, all right? Siempre lo, lo voy a escoger y voy a decir quién va a pasar, pero le estoy dando el chance que ustedes sean voluntarios. <laughs> okay, sooner or later, everybody. Solo uno, please. <laughs> Let's check. Ajá, Flor de María, excellent. A cashier works in a store. A cashier hangs Hangless money. Uh -huh. A secretary wore in an office. A secretary wore a computer. A doctor wore in a hospital. A doctor wore a heart. Mm -hmm. That's true, Flor. It's true. Excellent. Thank you. Solo, Flor, no se olvide de pronunciar la S, right? Works. Porque si no suena esa S, amiga. Perdemos a la persona. <laughs> All right. That's the only thing, Flor. De ahí estructura está perfecta. Let me go with. Ok, ahora sí empiezo a escoger yo. Mucho tiempo. Let me check. Juan José Pineda, please tell me your sentence. No lo sé. Example number one. A pilot fly in a plane. Number two. A teacher works in a school. Number three. A cashier comes money. Mm -hmm. That's true. Excellent, Juan Jose. Very good. No mistakes. Let's okay. go with Cecilia Romero. Okay. Let me correct him, por favor. Actually. But, okay. Uh, an auditor works in the office. Uh, an Auditor works sitting down all day. <laughs> Sits all day. Pasa sentado. Okay, very good. Excellent, ah, Cecilia. Este, uh, la otra es, uh, a Salis, Salis woman works in the warehouse. Mm -hmm. The Salis woman works studying all day. 
<laughs> standing all day. Very good. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. So the Very good, Cecilia. Very good. Excellent. Solo, Cecilia. Okay. Let's check. Sería sales woman o saleswoman? Saleswoman. Saleswoman. Excellent. Uh -huh. Sí, okay. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Let me check everybody and uh, somebody else. Alguien más? We got plenty of time, right? Nerio, tell me. Le digo Nerio porque solo ese nombre aparece ahí, right? <laughs> A nurse works in a medical clinic. She cares for the sick. A pilot works in a airplane. A chef works in a restaurant in the hotel five star. Bravo, excellent, very good. Even you add more information, inclusive puso más información. Excellent. Alexis Hurtado, please. And after Alexis Hurtado, Alexis Pérez. Okay. An emergency doctor stand all day. A receptionist talk to people all the time. A police wears a uniform. Uh -huh. That's correct. Very good. Now you see it wasn't so hard. Let me go with Alexis Perez. I don't see it. I know, se desconectó. <laughs> Alex, ah, no, there you are, Alexis Perez. Um, you have your microphone closed. Right, su micrófono está apagado. Ok, hoy sí, perdón. Don't worry. Uh, eh, a cashier sits all day. A pilot works an airport. A white trade wears a, a uniform. That's correct. Thank you, sir. Very good. Solo en esa en airport, everybody. Ay, no tengo donde escribir aquí. Sí, vale, lo voy a poner. Vamos a decir in an airport. All right. Tenemos que utilizar la preposition y el article. Para decir en un aeropuerto, in an airport, right? Es un poco más largo, suena un poco más difícil, pero así es la regla gramatical, right? In an airport, en un aeropuerto. Now, let me go with. Let me check. Ya tengo a Mayra, Kimberly, Flor de María, Juan José, Cecilia Romero, Alexis Hurtado, Alexis Pérez, Néstor, Mayrene, Marvin. Nerio and Jess ah, Jessenia Vasquez, please. Uh, a doctor going work in a hospital. A pilot will sit all day. A teacher work hard. Excellent, very good, Jessenia. Wasn't that difficult, right? Solo no olvide, Jessenia, eh, la S, all right? Works. Okay, very good, no mistakes. Now, let me check. <laughs> I still have a minute. Let's see, Rene Portillo, please. A uh, pilot fly the plane all day. A nurse works at night. A doctor works in a hospital. That's correct, sir. Very good. Easy peasy, right? Ya teniendo el contenido de ustedes, eh, ya teniendo el vocabulary, ya conociendo la regla gramatical, que sabemos que si hablamos de un chef, un pilot, esos son terceras personas, right? 
eh, no conocemos sus géneros, pero sabemos que son third person singular. Entonces, la regla gramatical que ustedes ya tienen aquí del simple present nos guía y nos ayuda a ponerle la S a los verbs. Ya tienen el vocabulary, ya tienen la regla y solo han puesto en práctica lo que ya conocen. Excellent. I'm proud of you. Soy orgullosa de ustedes. And now, my friends, I'm going to be honest with you. ¿Con qué vamos ahorita? Reductions, all right? Reducciones en el do and does. También se puede decir que son como tipo contractions, right? Que no existen. Estas contractions o reductions no existen en la manera escrita. En el spelling no existen en la manera escrita, right? Aclaro eso, no me vayan a poner un día en la plataforma do you unido, ok? Así que aclaro que eso no existe en la manera escrita, pero sí existe en la manera hablada, en lo oral, all right? Ahí sí existe. So, what's this? Vamos a ver, voy a hacerlo primero yo. Listen carefully. Where do you work? Where do you work? What do you do? What do you do? Noten, uno, el do con el subject. What do you do? Si escuchan que va rápido es porque es así. Que voy rápido es porque esa es la manera en la que se entona. All right? Where does he work? Where does he work? What does he do? What does he do? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do they do? What do they do? All right? Esa, esa señal que ven ustedes ahí que une el does con el he, el do con el they, Así es como se va a pronunciar, right? Porque, why is it necessary you to know this? Porque es necesario conocer esto. Los speakers, los hablantes del idioma, right? Native speakers o todos los que aprendemos el idioma, utilizamos así estas reductions del do and does. Por eso es que maybe en a TV show, quizás ustedes en algún programa de televisión habrán notado que no se escucha que la persona pronuncie el do, right? What do you do? What do you do? Where do you work? Where do you work? Right? Suena como si fuera omitido, pero gramaticalmente está. La persona solo hace la reduction. All right? So let's check. What do we have? This part is excited. All right? Esta parte es bien emocionante. Porque todos van a practicar. All right? Y no sé, no sé. No se pongan nerviosos, all right? Porque ya me ha pasado esto con unos students. Se me ponen nerviosos y que no me va a salir y si sí le sale al final. So, just listen. Practice time. Tenemos la manera de suave o lenta, que sería, where do you work? Cuando damos más énfasis, all right? Where do you work? Y luego tenemos, where do you work? Where do you work? All right? Aquí se, se repite la primera pregunta, all right? Pueden omitirla, no es necesario que la repitan dos veces. Luego tenemos, where does he work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where do they work? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? Oh, what do you do? What do you do? What does he do? What does he do? What does he do? What does he do? What do they do? Hago dos, cada una la estoy haciendo dos veces, right? What do they do? What do they do? What do they do? All right? Así como si tuviera mujer en todas. <laughs> All right? No, it's just, I'm just kidding. Solo para que no se estresen y se sabro. Pero no tienen ed. So let's go. Viene la pregunta que me da miedo. Who wants to participate first? ¿Quién quiere ser el primer? All right. Y ya sé que nadie me va a levantar la mano. Este, teacher. Ajá, Mayra. Yo no sé si hay, hay, hay un error si no, en la tercera persona de no sé si iba a estar she o solo she y he. Porque ambas Hello. dicen he. Es, es, es que tiene el does. Esa S que ves del does no es del, no es del she. All right. Ajá, pero por eso, como dice que él está trabajando en, en ah, y en la otra dice otra cosa, ¿verdad? No. Ya no dice que está trabajando, ¿verdad? Está bien, ¿cómo no, Mayra? Lo que pasa es que si usted se fija en este dos, dos tiene S. Y esa uh -huh. S se la han pegado al he, porque así suenan. 
Guarda no, no, yo, yo pensé que decía ella que se había, había habido un error abajo. No, 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 no hay ningún error, ¿right? Okay. <ríe> si todas aparecen en rojo es porque lo que les decía, ¿right? Gramaticalmente en la, en la escritura no lo van a encontrar, pero sí en el speaking. All right, Mayren, eh, action. Where do you work? Where do you work? Uh -huh. Where do Where does he go? Where does he go? Where, where do you? <laughs> Don't worry, where do they go? What do you do? What does he do? What do they? What do they do? Mm -hmm. What do? What? What do they do? <laughs> what do they do? Do they? Do they? Así suena. What do they? Do they? What do they do? Yeah. All right, excellent. Yeah. Thank you, my name. Very <laughs> Thank you. Now you notice. Ya rompió el hielo. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Now, let's go with Cecilia and after Cecilia, Marvin. Solo eh, algo que no había pensado y gracias a Mayrene ahora lo pensé. Pueden practicar mucho diciendo do you, do you, do you, does he, does he, does he, do they, do they, do they, all right, para que se les pegue eso o se nos mentalice eso. Action, Cecilia. Recuerde, la, primer, la primera la, la que va despacio y luego la rápida. Ok. Where do you work? Where do you work? Mm -hmm. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? What Does he do? What does he do? What do they do? What do they do? Bravo, Cecilia. Excellent. No, sí, bien practicado, Cecilia. No, just kidding. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Bravo. Amazing. I'm impressed. Let's go with Marvin. Action, Marvin. A ver si no me muerdo la lengua, teacher. Quiero ver. <laughs> no se preocupe. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do you do? What do you do? What does he do? What does he do? What do they do? What do they do? Bravo, Marvin, now you see. No hubo, ni no hubo ninguna emergency, excellent. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Let me go with Cecilia Rodriguez. Action, Cecilia. Okay. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where do they work? Where do they work? Where do you do? What do you do? What does he do? What does he do? What do they do? What do they do? Excellent, Cecilia. Very good, guys. I'm impressed. Oh, Excellent. Good. I'm happy and proud. Estoy contenta y muy orgullosa de ustedes, right? Porque lo han hecho muy bien. Excellent, right? Y esto no es sencillo. No es sencillo, to be honest. Puede parecer simple, solo unir a el do para el subject. Sí, pero en el speaking es otra cosa. <laughs> All right? Ahí es donde no, se, no puede ser tan sencillo. So, I'm happy to hear you guys. Let's move on. Ya no, no los voy a torturar con eso. Let's move on. Let's check Michelle, this conversation. Uh -huh. Yes? Perdone, eh, puede poner la lámina anterior. Yes. Fíjense que con, el, con la pregunta que hizo la compañera sobre la escritura, en la tercera, uh -huh. si fuera where does she work, ¿cómo se...? sería la contracción aquí porque es dos he work pero si fuera she, sí, dos es she work. ah usted quería saber Mayra la pronunciation porque lo que usted me dijo fue la escritura pero la pronunciation es otra cosa right? excelente sí muy bien Juan y Mayra thank you también van a unirlo does she does she does she what does she do what does she work right es lo mismo con todos los subjects Hola. Y se escribiría con doble S. Yes, sí. 
Pero es que recuerden, recuerden. Que es esa solo es la pronunciación. Exacto. Si ustedes me lo ponen en una sentence, me voy a desmayar, ¿all right? Porque no se puede. Y el propósito no es confundirlos, sino que encuentren la otra manera en la que esto existe, right? There you have it. For example, vaya, voy a poner un ejemplo. Todos conocemos que story es perdón, right? I'm sorry, perdóname. I apology, yo me disculpo, right? O disculpas, apology es diferente. Pero alguna vez quizás ustedes escucharon pardon. En español nosotros decimos perdón, pero ellos también tienen esa palabra pardon, pardon me, perdona, right? Suena como si fuera en español, all right? Entonces, lo mismo sucede aquí con las pronunciations. Siempre va a haber una, más de una manera en la que algo se puede pronunciar. Right? Y en este caso, el dashi, dashi, se puede. Pero no en la escritura. Uh, quiero re recalcar eso. Let's move on. Very good. Let's check this one. Conversation. He works in a hotel. Right? Voy a hacerla yo primero. Here we go. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. <laughs> All right, guys, let me explain you. Let's explain this conversation. ¿Por qué me da risa esta conversation? Y al pasar ustedes, no se me vayan a enojar si me río porque no es de ustedes. Es de la conversation. Las dos chicas están hablando, right? Una le pregunta, ¿qué hace tu, tu hermano? ¿De qué trabaja, right? Y le dice, ¿trabaja en un hotel? ¿De verdad? Mi hermano también trabaja en un hotel. Él está detrás de un, eh, ay, ¿cómo se dice? Un desk, de un escritorio, all right? Es un agente detrás del escritorio, desk agent, from desk agent. Bueno, enfrente de un escritorio. What does he like it? How does he like it? ¿Qué tanto le gusta? Mm, no mucho, le dice. No le agrada el manager. Uy, eso está mal, all right? ¿En qué, tra en qué hotel trabaja? En el plaza, le dice. Ay, that's, eso es gracioso. Mi hermano también trabaja ahí. Wow, eso es interesante. ¿Qué hace él? <ríe> él es el manager. All right. Momento incómodo en el que usted habló mal de alguien y, y pues ese alguien era el familiar de esa persona, de su amiga. All right. Eso es lo que me causa gracia en esta conversación. Pasa, Ay, pasa en la realidad. Yeah, it happens. <ríe> Por eso me río, porque ya ha pasado. All right. So, I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, it's just inedible. <laughs> Let me go. Um, ahora les toca a ustedes practicar. Let me see. Aunque los nombres aparecen Rachel and Angela, siempre voy a escoger también varones, right? Let's start with Nestor Amilcar, please. You are Rachel, Cecilia Romero, you are Angela. Action. Okay. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel, too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's to help. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What do he do? Como esa no sé cómo leer el actual. Actually. Huh? Actually. Actually, he's the manager. <laughs> that's correct. Excellent, guys. Very good. Good fluency. Muy bien. Inclusive actuaron como si fueran ustedes, right? In real life setting. Excellent. Let me go with Kimberly Elena. You are Rachel. Juan Jose Pineda. You are Angela. Action. Where does your work? Where does your work? 
In your hotel. Hotel. De nuevo. Oh. Where does you <laughs> Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Bravo, excellent. Good acting. Now, guys, because of the time, por el tiempo, no a todos van a participar ahorita, pero sí este va a ser un calentamiento para mañana. So, imagino yo que ustedes esta sección o ya la trabajaron o la van a trabajar, eh, la lección, perdón, all right? Y eso les va a dar más posibilidad de que mañana puedan hacer todavía una mejor presentation, all right? Simple present WH questions, my friends. Marvin, you ask the first row. Usted pregunta la primera línea. And Cecilia Rodríguez, you answer. Usted va a contestar la primera línea, all right? Action. Okay. Hello, Marvin, your microphone. Okay, teacher, sorry. Uh, where do you work? In a hospital. Uh, where does he work? In a hotel. Where do they work? In a restaurant. That's correct, excellent, thank you. Alexis Balmore. The second round, la segunda línea, please, de preguntas. And Yesenia Vázquez, you answer. Usted las contesta. Action. Where do he work? Uh, Where do, what do you do? Aquí, Alexis. Okay. What do you do? I am talk. Sigo horizontal. Yes. Yes. What does he do? He's a manager. What do, do they do? They're waiters. Wait. Waiters. Very good. Thank you, guys. Excellent. Yes, that's correct. Now, let me go with Alexis Hurtado, the third round, la tercera línea. Beatriz Campos, you answer. Usted pregunta, Alexis, Beatriz contesta. Would you like it? I really like, like it. How does he like it? It's okay. How do you like it? They had it. They hate it. They hated it. Very good, excellent. They hate it. Um, odian. <laughs> odian. Eso significa, right? They hate it. Hate es odiar. Y no podemos ocupar, right? Ojalá que YouTube no me vaya a vetar. <laughs> Pero eso significa, right? Uh, they hate it. Ellos lo odian. All right, everybody. We finish over here. Ya tienen que ir a dormir. So I will see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See ya.